नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी लर्न अबाउट व्हील व्हील इज टू बी माउंटेड ऑन एक्सेल फॉर विच होल्स आर प्रोवाइडेड इन डिस्क ऑफ व्हील दैट इज नोन टू अस टू एक्सप्लेन माउंटिंग ऑफ व्हील फर्स्ट आई वुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट माउंटिंग होल्स इन डिटेल व्हील इज माउंटेड ऑन स्टड्स प्रोवाइडेड इन व्हील हब at the end of axle lug nuts are tightened on studs that keep wheel in assembled position lug nut it is a simple hexagonal nut that is provided with a particular end shape this end shape matches with corresponding seat in mounting hole this helps in proper tightening of nut and so mounting of wheel on hub there are a number of variants i would be sharing with you few common ones conical lug nut this is a simple hexagonal nut with cap referring to diagram that presents nut on upper side on lower side is sectioned view of part of wheel disc showing mounting hole and nut seat stud on wheel hub not shown here passes through it after placing wheel on stud nut is tightened red conical surface on nut comes in contact with corresponding red conical surface in hole when nut is properly tightened lug nut with shank here nut is provided with washer referring to diagram nut is shown on upper side lower side presents section view of wheel disc mounting hole and nut seat have also been shown hexagonal nut shown on upper side has been modified it has a washer shown in red mounting hole shown in lower diagram of wheel disc 2 has been modified it has space for washer again shown in red stud on wheel hub not shown here passes through it nut is tightened on it until washer sits in space provided in mounting hole conical lug nut with extra threads lug nut here also has been modified as may be noticed in diagram on upper side it has conical surface on lower side again shown in red color it may also be noticed that nut has portion with inner threads not visible in this diagram provided on lower side shown in red color diagram on lower side presents portion of wheel disc with mounting hole in section stud mounted on wheel hub not shown again passes through it and nut is tightened on it when nut is properly tightened conical surface on nut comes in contact with corresponding conical surface in mounting hole both shown in red color vertical cylindrical portion in nut on lower side also comes in contact with corresponding cylindrical portion in mounting hole these two have been shown in red color in both diagrams lower cylindrical portion on nut with inner threads is extra from what we have seen in conical lug nut therefore the name conical lug nut with extra threads flanged lug nut this is yet another variant where lug nut has been modified it has been provided with flange 
referring to diagram modified nut with flange can be seen on upper side on lower side of diagram portion of disc wheel with mounting hole has been shown in section it has also been modified to accommodate nut as may be seen lug nut has flange on lower side flange takes circular shape in lowermost portion shown in red color portion of wheel disc in section represents mounting hole with nut seat shown in red color stud mounted on wheel hub not shown passes through mounting hole lug nut is tightened on it until lower portion of flange shown in red color completely sits on corresponding portion in wheel disc again shown in red color wheel hub hub or wheel hub forms the end of axle where wheel is mounted it is in the form of a disc referring to diagram that presents two views namely elevation on left and side view on right as can be seen in elevation axle is on left side supported in bearing hub is on right side studs with threads protrude out of hub as shown these are four in number and are uniformly placed 90 degree apart side view shows hub in circular shape hub center is central portion of hub that is projected and may be noticed in elevation it is circular in shape central portion of wheel has corresponding hole termed as wheel center bore this helps to position wheel centrally on wheel hub bolt pattern bolts on wheel hub are arranged symmetrically these form an imaginary circle diameter of this circle is termed as bolt circle diameter or bcd it is measured in millimeters or inches bolt pattern is expressed as number of bolts into bolt circle diameter therefore if there are four bolts and bolt circle diameter is 110 mm then bolt pattern is 4 into 110 let us see now how bolt circle diameter is determined referring to diagram that presents on left hand side wheel with four bolts as can be seen bolts are uniformly placed 90 degree apart in this case bolt circle diameter is diameter small d of circle passing through center of bolts shown in red if number of bolts are 6 or 10 that is in even number then bolt circle diameter can be found in similar way in case number of bolts is odd say 5 let us see how it is done referring to diagram on right hand side wheel with five bolts is shown these are placed uniformly that is 72 degree apart in this case bolt circle diameter small d is the diameter of circle passing through center of a bolt on upper side and bottom line of two bolts on lower side as shown manner in which wheel is mounted on wheel hub also determines variance of wheel based on this there are hub centric wheel 
and lug centric wheel let us go into their details one by one hub centric wheel here diameter of hub center is equal to diameter of wheel center bore referring to diagram that presents both variants those are hub centric wheel on left and lug centric wheel on right wheel has been shown in black color and wheel hub is shown in red color in order to distinguish them considering diagram of hub centric wheel on left it may be noticed that diameter of wheel center bore is equal to diameter of hub center here wheel is centered by contact between wheel center bore and hub center seating surface of lug nut is flat the result is that wheel is snug fit this prevents shifting of wheel from its position at high speed or if it hits a bump per chance lug centric wheel here wheel is fitted with priority to mounting hose in wheel and studs that form a part of wheel hub referring back to diagram that presents lug centric wheel on right hand side in this type of wheel diameter of hub center shown in red color is not same as diameter of wheel center bore shown in black color wheel is fitted in studs provided in wheel hub and nuts are tightened in wheel countersunk in lug hose provide conical seat lug nuts have matching conical end this makes them sit in lug hole seat and provide a near perfect assembly perhaps you noticed when i said near perfect assembly it is because lug nuts take up lateral force that pushes wheel away from wheel hub hub center and wheel center bore put together as in hub centric wheel take up the weight of car acting downwards force due to impact between wheel and road surface acting upward is also taken up by hub center and wheel center bore two forces mentioned above act at right angle to each other in case of lug centric wheel vertical forces due to weight of car and road impacts act perpendicular to stud this causes shear force to act on stud stud may bend and vibrations may occur in extreme case stud may shear off this will damage studs and wheel the question is why we have lug centric wheel the answer is that it provides flexibility in choice when wheel of old car is to be replaced by new one hub centric ring it is to overcome the problem related with lug centric wheel as replacement of old wheel it is a metal ring its thickness is such that it fills gap between hub center and wheel center bore this way contact is created between two this prevents shear force acting on stud and damage to stud and wheel wheel and axle assembly until now i have explained 
axle and wheel hub and its components such as hub center and studs and wheel and its different components such as rim disc different holes etc separately it is quite relevant to look at them in assembled form referring to diagram that presents assembled view showing axle wheel hub and wheel axle on right hand side is supported on bearing for smooth rotary motion it has wheel hub at the end hub center is projected circular portion in hub as shown studs are uniformly placed in this case their number being 4 as it is sectioned view two studs are visible wheel has disc surrounded by rim as shown it has hole for valve stem cooling holes and mounting holes wheel is kept in position as wheel center bore is mounted on hub center studs pass through mounting holes and lug nuts are tightened on these studs it should not be difficult to realize that hub centric wheel has been considered in this assembly in case of heavy commercial vehicles arrangement is modified particularly because two wheels together are provided at one end of rear axle it is essential to take up load referring to diagram on left hand side arrangement for single wheel on front axle is shown and on right hand side arrangement for two wheels on rear axle is shown these are sectioned views disc that is wheel disc is mounted on hub center and studs located on hub in diagram only middle portion of wheel disc has been shown it is tightened with lug nuts that have flat face washers integral with them flat face washer holds wheel securely this is hub centric wheel on right hand side similar arrangement for rear axle is shown rear axle holds two wheels to take up load therefore middle portion of discs of two wheels are visible here length of studs is suitably modified to accommodate two wheels lug nuts with integral flat face washer are used here also at the time of mounting wheel process adopted to tighten lug nuts is of immense importance let us consider a car wheel with four lug nuts two nuts in opposite position in one diagonal should be tightened first next two nuts in opposite position on other diagonal should be tightened all nuts should be equally tightened in addition these nuts are to be tightened to proper extent if over tightened hub can be distorted this can cause fracture and failure of wheel it can also stretch studs beyond their elastic limit studs are designed to stretch to a tiny extent with optimum tightening if stretched beyond yield point they may become weak then these cannot provide proper clamping load this causes breaking of a stud proper clamping load may be achieved by tightening nuts to optimum extent on the other side under tightening of lug nuts may cause 
they are loosening while in use this means wheel becomes loose and causes instability to vehicle this can create dangerous situation this makes essential that lug nuts are tightened to proper extent it is best to use torque wrench for proper tightening of lug nuts for proper tightening of nut it should also be ensured that threads of stud are dry clean and free of dirt essentially avoid application of lubricants as it will cause over tightening of nut this brings us to the end of discussion for today thanks for watching